I now have an alligator in my sewer. Just when you thought you've seen everything. If you're missing a green ball, don't come looking for it here. It was pretty loud. It was pretty late. It definitely got my attention. An eight-foot alligator snuck up on Luis Camacho when he came out to get the mail. I could hear him and feel him. I, I could feel it at my feet, the vibration. He was practically standing on top of the gator. I moved over, I looked down, thinking it was some type of earthquake, but it wasn't, and I felt the vibration again. Vibration created by this mighty hiss. I guess to warn me to back off. FWC says a full-size alligator this big can be very dangerous, especially when it feels cornered. Crews say they've seen gators in gutters, but it's not common. They also say you should call something like this in. We asked if FWC would have trappers remove the gator. It told us likely yes, because it's in a neighborhood with children and pets. Camacho says he wasn't worried about it because he's seen it around this retention pond behind his house before. He was more nervous a few days ago when this 300-pounder showed up in the same spot. I hear a little noise. I turn around. And, it, and I see a bear. Who needs a zoo when you have bears and gators in your backyard? Honestly, I love it. I respect nature, you know, and I give it its space, and they've given me my space.